Kansas City the Serenity and we're here with the R&B Love King Raheem Devine what's up hey what's going on baby now you were just in Kansas City not that long ago yeah. actually <laughs> so yeah. you're starting to freak with Kansas City how do you feel about Kansas City it's all good it's the luxury we have of, of uh being actors and singers and as full all around entertainers you know you never know where we're gonna be in the city and what we're gonna be here doing you know what I mean so yeah it's great to just come right back and be able to perform for people that may not have seen the play or people that saw the play and wanted to hear me sing a couple of more songs and stuff like that. So it's all good. A lot of love here. All right, so that's support up. Um, I know you started um, with The Love Experience. Mm -hmm. That was your first album, and it like basically took you mm -hmm. out there. And um, you worked on with a couple of um, record labels, doing some different things. Mm -hmm. So how does it feel from going from that to what you're doing now? Because you're now acting, mm -hmm. you're doing shows, and you have your own foundation. How does it feel, the growth that you had in your career? Yeah, I have my own record label, too. So I mean, okay. I'm, I'm signed to me. So that's Yeah, I yeah, remember yeah, I remember yeah, I saw yeah, that. but. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so so it's it's great, you know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of hats to wear, it's a lot of work, um, you know, and a lot of dedication and discipline, and it's great, you know. Um, probably the most exciting thing right now for me is the community work that I'm doing. Uh, I just had a huge event last night in D.C. where, uh, you know, I brought Cassette was there, yeah. um, Tweet, uh, Kelly, oh. Kelly Price, um, Wale was a surprise guest, uh, Ro James came through as a surprise guest. Yeah, uh, he was just here for with yeah, Mary J. Yeah, yeah, so... It, um, you know, to be able to give, you know, give that gift back to my city, but also having them buy a forty dollar ticket to support the foundation, you know what I mean, and support the kids that we put through college, you know, the women that we help in these in these domestic violence situations, you know, our our, our efforts with um, the AHF to fight AIDS and, and, and uh, HIV and AIDS, um, you know, it, that's probably the most dear stuff to me right now. So what is your advice, since you said you went independent, what is your advice to an artist who's out here doing the independent grind? Uh, what is some advice to them as far as how to get their music out here? And I know you're big on self-promotion. Yeah, so what I are some things? I, I, I don't think at this point you can oversaturate your fans with music. I think that you put out music consistently, you know, um, just like the rappers do. Right. You know what I mean? They kind of set the foundation for it, for, for, for the independent market. You know, they, they were independent long before quote unquote R and B artists or, right. or what have you. So, you know what I mean? Like you, you just gotta grind and put but also in in in, 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 in flooding the market with your music, remember always remember um qu quality over quantity. You know what mm, I mean? So that's true. You put out a mixtape every every month, make sure that it's quality. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make sure it's quality, you know, um you can never go wrong with having some great message music. It's a lot going on in the world, you know, talk about some things and you know, and try to out hustle me. I hustle you. <laughs> That's what's up. So now you're getting into acting. Yeah. So how was that going on tour with the Love Jones tour? It was great, man. I can't wait for uh, for the you know the new year to roll over. Get back, get back to work on yeah. that. It got signed to um, Vegas, right? Or is that just the or no, no? Or I can't confirm. <laughs> you can't more. confirm or deny. I can't confirm or deny <laughs> that that is the truth. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's some great things happening for 2017. That uh that you know I mean you know I, I had a conversation uh you know somebody asked me what am I doing for the next couple of years so we'll see how that pans out you know what I mean so are you gonna do any movies or anything like that now I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to I have some things I'm looking to produce and you know I had a, I had a radio show at one point uh, podcast kind of like I with think that. I actually have, I did see that because yeah, I, I keep yeah. up with your career yeah, so yeah, yeah the Raheem Devon show so I'm looking to probably bring that back at some point okay. um, but right now you know I'm just trying not to tackle you know take more t take on more than I can handle yeah because you're only one man right yeah only one person you know? yeah. <laughs> okay so your latest project why don't you tell us about that project um my latest project was love sex and passion um that's my most recent album that's my fifth album it's available on iTunes um Pandora you know all your social media outlets you know what I mean you can get the album um digitally though on iTunes um a few stores still c carrying hard copies Best Buy Target what have you uh and and I put out uh, a few mixtapes recently um, I have a group that I'm part of too called Crossroads. Okay. And uh, we just dropped two mixtapes The Great Debate, Volume 1, Volume 2. We started dropping those during um, election week. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're, we're up to Volume 2 and we're going to continue to drop the Crossroads joints. And that's more so you're talking about yeah. Trump or just talking about the election? I'm, talk, I'm or? talking about everything. I'm just talking about the world. You know, um, it's that's, that's my socially conscious music. You know what I'm saying? Like hip hop, soul projects, mm -hmm. um, you know, music and substance. And, and, you know, I just try to always make honest music, whether it's something for the bedroom or something for, for the street, you know what I'm saying, for the mind per se. So, 
Uh, I'm just having fun right now, making music, back in love with music and enjoying it. Okay. So tell everybody where they can find you at online, on IG, okay. on Facebook, you all that. You can hit me up on social media at Raheem underscore Devon. Once again, that's Raheem underscore uh, Devon. Uh, it's Instagram, Twitter. Uh, also follow my group, uh, the, cro the Crossroads, at Crossroads 368. And that's uh, C-R-O-S-S-R-H-O-D-E-S 368. Yeah. Where's your next city you're gonna be in? Oh, also, also for um, to keep to see what I've been doing in the community with my uh, love Love Life Foundation. Log on to Love Life Foundation DMV org. Once again, that's Love Life Foundation DMV org. What was your next question? Oh, what's your next city next stop? Oh, oh man, we um, I'm back home tomorrow uh, until the 26th. Then we're in New York uh, with Corset Music Soul Child. Um, we're also in Houston, Texas. Um, we're also in Chicago. I'm in Chicago um, the day before New Year's Eve, and then I'm oh, also okay. in Chicago for a New Year's Eve party. And then uh, we finish, and I finish out with Cassette in Denver on the 5th. And, um, yeah. Okay. That's what's up. Thank right. you. Yep. I'm Serenity. My name is Bitch of Peace. Make sure you check out what's up, KansasCity.net. I'm Aya BB Bikini Pro, Cat Williams, and when I'm not working out in the gym, I'm searching the web on Cascade Media and what's up, Kansas City. So make sure you check them out.